experience. And I wonder, hearing from other survivors, Myra, if that in some way fortified you, fortified your family, that this fight, as much as it was about Vanessa, was about an entire range of people who had shared a similar experience? Most definitely, there is a number of survivors and victims up to this date, uh, many survivors who were silent and felt like they finally have a voice once they shared their story with the hashtag and, you know, related to what happened with my sister. So most definitely, it's an honor to work with some of these survivors and, you know, just uplifting us all together is what made this um, get people's attention, is what made this grow it's basically, you know, what it took to lobby Congress and have them once and for all have a law that would provide some kind of justice for victims. Mayor, there's a keen observation that is made in the documentary, which is that very often we talk about the Hispanic community as, be, as being a sleeping giant, which is a term I don't love. We tend to talk about it electorally. I would argue it is a community that has power, that has already stepped into its power, and that is learning instead how to use its power. But I wonder for you, as a Latina, as someone who ran up against these cultural norms, what it then required to not just find your voice, but to use your voice in the service of something bigger? In the beginning, it was very intimidating. You see yourself in DC. You see yourself asking for justice for your sister. My parents are immigrants. Obviously, it was a scary moment for them whether or not to go as high as Capitol Hill and meeting with former President Trump. I mean, it was just so many things at once that it, we didn't let the fact that we're Hispanics made us seem like less or minorities in this case. We actually made us feel like we had a stronger voice than anyone. So most definitely, we used that voice to ask for justice and ask for accountability for for Vanessa, but I do feel like, you know, the Latinos have a lot of power. It's just the fact, you know, with immigration issues, they don't, they, they tend to be scared, don't use their voice, but the, I hope the documentary inspires people and lets them know that what we can all do together to make this world a better place.